Welcome to Electron Online, and in this video, we're going to explore how we could minimize the voltage drop across a conductor. We already realized that the potential difference across a conductor carrying a current is equal to the resistivity of the material. The current going through the conductor divided by the cross-sectional area times the length of the conductor. And so let's assume that we're not able to change the material. Of course, copper does have a fairly low, low resistivity. Uh, silver, I think, has a lower resistivity, but that would be a very expensive material. And so copper, for its cost and its weight and so forth, is probably the best material that we can use to conduct electricity. So copper wire is a very common substance to carry electricity. So there's not a lot we can do about the resistivity. And of course, there's not a lot we can do about the length. We're fixed to having a certain length required to get the electricity to where we need to go, to get the current to where we need to go. So the only option we have is the current density, which can be expressed in terms of current per unit area. So the current density is the portion that we can control. So here we have the voltage, which is equal to the resistivity, times the ratio of the current divided by the cross-sectional area, times L. And notice the only component here in the denominator is the cross-sectional area. Again, we may not be able to do anything about the current requirement. We may require a certain amount of current to go through the wire. So the only control that we have is the cross-sectional area of the wire. If we make that bigger, we have a smaller potential difference across the wire, a smaller voltage drop. So what we can do here is get a bigger gauge wire. For example, if we have 18 gauge wire, the diameter of the wire is 1.02 millimeter. So if we have a lower gauge, we increase the diameter of the wire. So the larger you make the diameter of the wire, the greater the cross-sectional area. You can see that you can carry a whole lot more current per unit area in a big conductor like this compared to a conductor like that. So the idea is to make the conductor as large as possible in cross-sectional area. So with the same amount of current, we have a much lower voltage drop. And that's the only control that we have. So let's say that we have a one millimeter wire. And let's say that instead of a one millimeter wire, we go to a five millimeter diameter wire. Five times the diameter, which means 25 times the cross-sectional area. So if we call this area one, cross-sectional area one, we call this cross-sectional area two, then you can see that the ratio of A2 to A1 is equal to 25 to one, because the area is the diameter squared, at least proportional diameter squared. So in that case, you can see that if the area is 25 times as big, the potential drop across the wire is only 1 25th it was before. In the previous example, we had, we had a, a case where the voltage drop was equal to 5 volts. Well, if we have a wire that is 5 times as large in diameter, therefore 25 times as large in cross-sectional area, the voltage drop will be 5 volts divided by 25, which is only 1 5th of a volt. You can see that makes a tremendous difference. So part of the, part of the construction of wires that carry current, for example, the high voltage lines that carry current throughout, you know, from the, from the power plants to the cities and to the factories where the current and the electricity is needed. They use very thick wires. Not only that, they use multiple wires. So the more wires you have, if you have 10 of them, that means you have 10 times the cross-sectional area, you have a lot lower voltage drop. Of course, that's not the only concern in carrying current through a wire. Another concern is, of course, the, you want to minimize the power loss because the power consumed by the wire, power consumed by the wire is equal to I square R. And so therefore you want to minimize the current flowing through the wire. So by putting the same power across the wire, you can minimize the, the current by raising the voltage. The greater the voltage drop across the wire, the smaller the current required to get power from the factory to the houses. But that's another video that has nothing to do with this kind of thing. But this is also a very important concept, a very important factor in determining how to build wiring to carry current from the power plant to where the current is needed. But to keep the voltage drop in check, for example, in your house, you want to make sure that you use a big enough gauge wire, use a, I should say, smaller gauge, means bigger diameter, it's kind of interesting. So use a bigger diameter wire to have a smaller voltage drop and therefore um, you have the correct amount of voltage reaching the outlets where the voltage is needed. And that's how we do that.